Hello and welcome to my Osprey watching video. Today is Thursday, May 20th, 2021. I am now at a different location this time. I am located on Harriet's Bluff Road in Kingsland, New Jersey, or Kingsland, Georgia. Sorry about that. And there is an osprey sitting in the nest. Yeah, that is a female osprey right there. And yeah, she's doing great up there right now. This is as far as I can zoom in. I can't zoom in any further than this. Now, um, I didn't want to get too close because, you know, I didn't want to disturb this osprey. So yeah, so Osprey's doing good, and that's pretty much all I can really say about her. And welcome to my raptor watching video. Here it is. You've seen it right before your eyes, out here in the middle of nowhere pretty much. All there are is just houses that are spread out. And it's a relatively forested area, and there's like lots of areas where there's dead trees around. Pro it was probably an area that was destroyed by a fire, like a wildfire. Yeah, so there's the osprey. There she is, right there in the nest, right on this utility pole right here. So yeah, she's been doing good here, and really great. So how long has this nest been here? I was told I was told that this nest has been here for at least a couple of years now. Probably longer than that. Alright. So I'll just film her for just a little bit and then I'm gonna go out and see if I can find a bald eagle nest next. And I do see a bird circling around, probably is a vulture. This osprey would do just fine. <sighs> Great looking osprey. Yeah, I'm sure she's probably incubating. That's probably what she's doing. All right, so I'm going to go in the car and I'm going to finish eating my Sonic Blast and then I'll come up here and I'll get, grab my camera and I'll start heading down further down this road and see if I can find a bald eagle nest. All right. Wish me luck. All right, enjoy the video.
Okay, so the Osprey's stretching right now. Well, so she's not quite laying in the nest, she's sitting in the nest and rearranging her nest. Either rearranging sticks or rearranging the eggs if they've hatched yet. Not exactly sure if we're at that stage yet, but she is rearranging something. And it is very windy. Huh? Turning the eggs over. Yeah, that sounds like a logical explanation. She has to rotate. She has to rotate the eggs, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so like I said, you're not really going to see very much from this angle. But this is really the best angle that you're going to get. Yeah, so I figured I'd film this osprey for just a little bit longer just to see what happens here. And it doesn't really seem like anything much is happening. And the camera is going to be a little shaky because it's a wind. You can't do nothing about that. my spot but I don't know if that's really going to make much of a difference but we'll see yeah I don't really like this spot uh, there's got to be a better spot hmm let's see maybe on the right side of the nest or maybe on the left side oh look she's trying to get comfortable here wind is intense, man. Wow. It's like the most wind that I've felt here in Georgia. At least for a long time, anyways. should I do? Maybe go on the other side of the road and film? What you think? No, 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 no. I want to get a little bit of a better angle of the Osprey before we go. When we come back. Okay. Because the way that she's sitting, the, the line, and this little, like, uh, stick is, like, kind of poking out of the nest, and I can't see the Osprey because of that. Okay. All right, we'll do that on the way back, okay? Okay, I'll get my things together. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna go and check to see if there's any other osprey nests or bald eagle nests around.
footage here. Okay, and welcome back. And now I'm going to show nest number two on this road right here, on Harriet's Bluff Road. This is yet another osprey. Wow, pretty cool, huh? This is even better. I'm not going to get too close to this osprey. Not going to happen. And that's as far as I can zoom in. That's it. So yeah, there's um, a female osprey. Is that a female or a male? I don't know which it is. I can't really tell because the sun is so darn bright. I can't see a thing. Do I see brown on the plumage? I think... Yeah, there is. Yeah. So that is a female. Yeah. So there's one female on one nest and one female on the other nest. So guess what? That's a female osprey. It's a female. Well, there's a female on each nest. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. I can tell because this osprey has brown specks on the neckline. They're pretty close eh, they're not that close. Can't even see the nest from here. Like the because of how the how the road curves, you can't even see the nest from this angle. And she's preening. That's great. She's preening her feathers. Even though I'm here. Oh. She kind of like ducked. Yeah, Sospray's doing good. This is actually a good spot because the osprey happens to be facing me. Yeah. Right. I can't believe it. Two osprey nests on this road. Oh man. The creek is all dried up. There's no water in the creek. So where are they getting fish from? That's one thing I gotta wonder. Now, I, I do know that osprey do make nests a mile apart from any bodies of water. That includes lakes, rivers, oceans, all that. So they can, they can always fly to wherever they want to hunt at. It doesn't have to be right there. And that's good because then there's less competition. And the problem is if, if, osprey, if one osprey chooses a, a river and another osprey chooses a river, then there can be territorial conflicts, which I've already seen before. I've already seen two males fighting over their ter territory at St. Mary's Lake, where the three osprey nests are. Yeah, and I just posted the video on Facebook about that, by the way. My Facebook page is facebook.com slash jeremy.herzl.
And look at that, she's preening her feathers. How nice. What's she looking at? Oh, she's looking at me! <laughs> I'm so stink. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's always funny when, when she sometimes looks at me. She's preening again. Ah, she's looking at me again. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, so sometimes she preens, sometimes she looks around. She's a very observant osprey. How about I walk a little bit closer? How about it? What do you think? How about I get just a little bit closer to the osprey? Yes? No? Maybe? <laughs> do you think that's a good idea? to get a little bit closer to the osprey. Well, no, but if she's preening a lot, then that means she's calm and content. That means she's not observant of anything that's around her. But she is like preening half the time. She's not quite like preening like 100% of the time now. Oh, she's not preening now. Yeah, it's just that she's not quite covering the whole screen. Like, she's covering, like, maybe half of the screen with my full zoom. So that's why I just want to get slightly closer. Like, halfway to where that, that white small pole is right there. That's how close that I want to get. should I do? <laughs> Look at the eagle first, then come back. Just like with the other osprey, right? Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I know. They're always going to, they're going to be here all day long. All right, I'm zooming out and I'm going to go find another nest now. See you on the other side. <laughs>